Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel on a beautiful evening here in sunny Lincolnshire. It's just come up to nearly six o'clock at night, actually. We've finished work for the day and there's some work to do on the Audi TT Mark One. If you haven't seen the previous video on the channel, Dad and I spent a good few hours giving the car a once over in preparation for its MOT test, which is tomorrow. We found a few things wrong that we fixed in that video, things that we could do easily. However, there was one thing that we couldn't do uh, immediately and that is because we needed some parts. That is a split steering rack gator on the offside here. Um, I've been to Euro car parts. It's not my first choice of go-to place to get parts, if I'm entirely honest with you, due to cost, etc. However, necessity, in, in, if I'm honest, we needed the part and we needed it quick, ready for MOT. Um, I didn't want to have to push the MOT back because actually my MOT tester is quite busy. Um, we normally go to our local motor factor and that would have been a little bit cheaper than going to Euro car parts. £17.60 something, including the VAT. We've got a Lemforda steering rack gator, um, and it's actually just the one side. You could probably get a pack of two for that price. Comes with the clips as well, um, but again, needs must. And if you do want one for your Audi TT, it's Lemforda 3017702 two made in italy um we're going to fit this to the car then we're going to get it stripped down we're going to have a chat with dad he reckons it's going to take around about half an hour to get it sorted fingers crossed no major dramas and it'll be an mot pass tomorrow i don't envisage there being other problems we'll soon find out hello good evening good evening my friend how, how are you, are you? I'm very good, thank you. Uh, we're back. We're back with the Audi TT Mark One. This time, a steering rack gator. You've got all your tools and bits and I'm pieces. Ready, I wanted. Ready. Are you going to Are you going to talk us through the tools? Oh yeah, I'll t <laughs> yeah. Fill a spatula. First things first. Uh, Centre cap off. That's a That's a job. Job. Right. Talk us through your tools. What have you got here then? Ready to go. I've got a ball joint splitter, some jacks, axle stands, a torque wrench, breaker bar. Half inch drive socket set, some pliers and a pen and a wire brush and some big spanners and let's see what occurs. Yep, excellent. Sounds good to me. Uh, the new jack's getting a workout <laughs> as well. We noticed that this uh, steering rack gator was split on the Audi uh, TT MOT pre-test video. Big job? Never done one before, son. What, on an Audi TT or in no. the... <laughs> in your career. <laughs> Never done one on an Audi TT. Well, fingers crossed, it's uh, it's relatively trouble free. Waiting for them new wheel bolts. Yeah, they're on the way. I've ordered some new wheel bolts. Because they um, don't like tightening up and undoing. No, so... Locking we, wheel nuts, that's why they was loose. Yeah, the locking wheel nuts on the car were finger tight, literally, when, uh, when Dad took the wheels off the other day. Um, I've ordered some just generic bolts. If someone wants to steal my alloy wheels, then crack on, I suppose. But um, we're going to get them on the car when they arrive. I reckon we might finish up with the under trails. What to do this job? Yeah. Oh dear. I'm preempting it anyway. Right. Okay. So potentially preempting it. Have to take the under tray off, which isn't a great job, but it's not as bad as taking a smart car one off, is it? Washed my axle stands today. Yeah, they were all, um... Yes. <laughs> they were all wax oil. Somebody covered them in wax oil. Yeah. I picked... I picked them up today and I thought, these are disgusting. So you, you clean them. Let's have a look. Oh, lovely. Wow. Beautiful. I'm, I'm actually disappointed you've not powder-coated them and, and painted them, but they look much better. <laughs> yeah. I've got time for that sort of thing, Gromit. Right, so the wheel's off. Let's just take a look at that gator. Let's have a look at it in there. Let's have a look at the split. Don't get underneath, will you? There's no, no stands. I'm, no, I'm not getting too far underneath um, while there's no stands underneath it. You can see it's just failed at the end there. That's what we're going to be replacing. Have you got time to go around the other side and work the jack, please? Of course. So Axle you... stands are going under, make sure you put them in. So the undertow is coming off, right? Yes. Why uh, Why right. does it need to come off? I need to get at the uh, inside clip. Right. He's had a move around in his garage, by the way, uh, which means that the tools 
are now on this back wall, ready for Pistons the podcast. We've got some more space here. What made you move your tools around? Because I could. <laughs> I'm getting more steps in going to the bottom of the garage. Yeah, here's the one with the 25 in, this is a 20. Let me have a look. Yeah. Let's try that one. Cheers, bud. Oh, the under tray's off. Aha, let me, hang on a minute, oh, let me, let me grab that because you look like you've been run over. Oh, there's an oil leak on it. Or is that the coolant leak? That might be the coolant <coughs> leak we had. Right, that's nice. Can you see it? There it is. Yeah, lovely. That's a bit oh, awkward. Yeah. Is it a cable tie on there or a clip? Uh, where your finger is? Yeah. It looks like a cable tie. Right, yo. There's a cable tie at this end. I don't think help. Which would tell me it's probably not the original then, I don't eh? I think so, son. The Audi cable tie, Wurschprung Dirk cable tie. Oh, there goes the cable tie. Oh, yeah. I ain't got time for tomfoolery when I'm on over time. <laughs> Dad's ready for dinner. What's for dinner? Whatever I can find. Oh, I've got chicken and broccoli and carrots and peas tonight. I think I'll come round to your house. Aye, well, you're more than welcome. And Mrs John Coopland has uh, got lots of chicken out uh, ready. You might have to have the inspector's portion though, and I'm not sure. Poor old inspector. How she might feel about that. I'm sure she's not on broccoli. <laughs> no, but she's certainly on chicken breast. Well, I bet she, she likes a bit of chicken, does the old lady. So let's have a look under here, see what we can see. Oh, I can see him. There's can see C the devil. CV boots, they're all looking good. I'll not find out wrong there. Yeah. I'm having a look underneath it now, the engine tray is off. I remember being under here now. It was so oily, wasn't it? We washed it all off. Oh, it's horrible, mate, wasn't it? It's not too bad now, is it? No, but we just had that coolant leak, didn't we? Yeah. You're going to have to put the keys in. Yep. And turn the steering. Mind. Okay, one moment. So we need to turn the lock, right? Good idea to open the window. Then we can turn the steering without having to keep opening the door. That's a grand idea. This is why you're the genius. It saves us a lot of messing about. That's perfect, son. Any further? No, that'll be all right. So what we're going to do, we're going to mark all this first. What we're going to do? We're going to mark that track rod because you need to put the track rod end on in exactly the same place as you took it off. Oh, of course. That's your track will be all right. Yes, that makes sense. So you're using, what, like a chalk paint there? Good yeah. idea. Top tip that. What you do when you take it off, you count the number of turns. Well, that's good, isn't it? I brought every one apart from the one I want. Oh, bulger. Hopefully these aren't going to be seized up. That was good, wasn't it? That was a bit of luck. So what I'm going to do now is just put that back where it was. So that's okay. So that's the track rod end. Yes, mate. Then we're going to take this ball joint off. out. I've put that under there so it doesn't spin. I don't want it to spin. And seeing as we are under the cosh a bit, we want it to run smoothly. We don't want to have to get the nut splitter out. No, which featured on Tool of the Week we don't want a couple of weeks ago. We nut splitter out, that's what we want. Get out the trusty old snap on ratchet. We don't want to have to use our nut splitter. Perfect. Then we'll get out one of these lovely tools here. Is that a ball joint puller? What it does, it fits in, the fork fits in there. Yeah. And presses down on that, uh, saves a lot of bashing with a hammer. Well, we'll see that in operation in a moment then. We may have to go conventional. Conventional being a hammer. 
Yeah. It is, son. You don't hit it on the end of there, though. Why wouldn't you hit it smack bang on the end of that nut? Because it won't work. It won't get it off. It won't get it off, me almighty load. Bench you up, let's just try. Fifteen sixteenths. to go old school. I didn't want to do. I can help it. Aha! Good start. Right. Now then, concentrate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Remember that folks, 26. You can't draw on your new jack. I can always clean it up. Right, so I've took that off. We've got the nut safe there. So why yeah. is it important to remember those number of turns? I want to put it back on. That's where that... And also, I shall count these as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. I shan't forget that one. 26 and seven. Do you know why I shan't forget that? Why is that? Because that's the number that Barry Sheen used to race under. <laughs> there you go. Just remember it's a Barry Sheen. Barry Sheen. Number seven. Get the dirt off there first. What is that there? It's just that rem remnants of the old boot. Oh right, okay, so that's off then. So that's the bit. So this is the bit that's split. Off here. And there's the, oh goodness, that is really split, isn't it? Look at that, you could, you could have a comedy ventriloquist show with that. Right. So it's split in multiple places, hasn't it? It's split here. It has, hasn't it? Uh, it's not an original by the looks of things. So we've got that. So that's your rack knuckle there, look. Hang on a minute, let me have a look. Oh yes, there's now I can knuckle. see it. That's yeah. your rack knuckle joint. That's screwed onto the end of that shaft. That's your rack with the teeth in it, look. Yep. That looks all good, does it? It's, it's greasy. In the old, get in if it was Austin 1100, we should have put gear oil in there when we put it together. Let's yeah. have a look in there, right? So we can see the teeth, as you say. You can see that there. Looking good. Show us that new one then. Oh, top banana. That's it, Barry Scott. <laughs> Not Hi, I'm Barry Scott. Hi, Barry Scott. So, case of fitting it is. Probably just do you have to put lubrication on it, or what will you do? Spit on it. Spit on it. Lube. Hang on a minute. You've got some cable ties in your hand. Are you uh, going to cable tie it back on as opposed to clip it on? I don't know. Oh, so that's just there in case, eh? I'm guessing getting it that clip's a bit of a nuisance. I'm edging my bets. Let's have a look from the other side. Some red special pliers over there. Would you pass me in, please? Red handles. These That's ones? It, what makes them. these special? Could be putting them clips on, mate. Just seeing if I can get them in. So we've opened the bonnet just to see if we could see down in there. Uh, how's that looking? Um, that was a waste of effort. <laughs> Can we see 
Uh, no. He was getting mirror to check it, but it looks okay to him, mate. Looks on. It does, mate. Well, it's not in place, or fixed in place, but it's in place there. You've got a got a mirror there. What are you looking for? It just to be located in the right place, I'm guessing. Just now, mate. Make sure it's all the way on and it's not twisting or anything. It's looking a bit silly when you go for an MOT and he says, oh, thanks for putting a new sleeve uh, rack boot on, but it's not been fitted properly. But it's no good. That's be a bit silly, shouldn't it? Be silly, Billy. So, too small to get your clips in there, right? I'm going to finish up causing myself more grief by trying to be clever and using that fancy clip. As long as you've got a good, strong cable tie. That, that's what's going to suggest. Is it, is it suitable for the job? Yeah, because didn't you see me rooting through my box full of cable tyres? To find a good one. To get the... Uh, the best one. cable tyres. I see how rough the boot is. It makes me wonder what the other side's like. Well, we've checked it out, haven't we? Just saw the end was split, didn't we? Yep, fair enough. Right. So the far one's on now, is it? Yes, mate. Lovely. How did you um, pull the cable tie tight? A pair of long pliers? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're funny old clips, aren't they, those? Yes, mate. Yeah. Like a pull tight clip. Yeah. Like a shiny cable tie. That's just about it, isn't it? That's just about the best way to describe it. I think there's a proper pair of pliers for this. Be careful you don't damage your new boot. Yeah, because it would be quite easy to, wouldn't it? Yes, it would, mate. It certainly would. Ah, so you've got your little hammer. And a little specially, specialist your toffee little, hammer. Your tinker's hammer. <laughs> toffee hammer. Toffee hammer. sticking the wrong way, it can cut the boot when it goes into lock. That's better. And then use your toffee hammer just to well, yeah, cause if that make sure that edge up, isn't it can stuck, be stuck up. up and stick in your uh, new boot. Put it all back together, so we've got to put this uh, One, back two, on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven. Perfect. That's not tight, remember. That's not tight. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a spanner to fit in the hat. And we over, just hold that so that we don't put a lot of load on the knuckle joint. Yep. Stop it from twisting. No, yeah, because you can, you can rear yep. against that and it'll put a load of load against it. So rather than do that, you just have two spanners on it. Make sure that that doesn't move from where I want it. That's the wrong spanner, grab it. Can you do me a little favour? Yeah. Can you cease filming and just tell me what the talk is for that, please? Yeah. Talk for this... Trackwood end nut. Trackwood end nut. 85 Newton metres. Shocking. It feels tight, anyway. Is that it? Job done? Should be. Just off camera there, we have spanned the wheel all the way to one lock, check to make sure it's not rubbing, spun the wheel the other way to the other lock to make sure it's not rubbing. Is that right? This mate, it's just to make sure that clip's not rubbing against the boot. That would be bad news if that was rubbing against there. So there is the new boot in place. Next port of call. 
Nice to get the wheel back on and put the under tray back on. Do you know, today I went to me and your mum went into town. And everywhere I went, I had a good experience. Blimey. I went to the Crown Decorating Centre to get some paint mixed up. Yeah. Lady in there, it was a pleasure to talk to. Good Made stuff. Made my day better just talking to her. Then I goes to Lidl. <gasps> Guess what I wanted to do in Lidl? Uh, were, the, were the toilets open? It says we've got a wee problem. Oh, no. And anyway, the top man was walking around. I said, excuse me, are you the manager? I says, yeah. Do you have a lot of trouble with your toilets? Yeah, they're shut again today. He says, but they're not really, he says. It's just that the fair's here, and we've had a lot of trouble in there. Oh, right, yeah, so our May fair, yeah, is here, isn't so it? So, it says just, and he went through, blah, blah, blah. next thing you know, the lady at the checkouts with the IVs on, so unlocked it for You got me. VIP Wii? I got a VIP Wii. Wow. So that, was, that was a pleasure to deal with the man, he was a nice man, and he is the store manager, actually. There you go. So and, you then, and then, <laughs> I go to PC World, or Curry's, or whatever you call it now. Yeah, what well, is it? Curry's now. Is it? Yeah, Cur what's it called? Comet? Curries? No, Comet was, blimey, that's a long time ago. Comet's on Curries. Line, yeah. Curries, yeah. And the young fella that sold me my new telly, he was a pleasure to deal with. Yeah, because you've broke my telly. And he went through, trying to find me, went through the coupons to see if there's any things. Yeah. And all there was, I got half price for my new mountain bracket. Okay, fair enough. So, good new, good shopping news oh, all around. Oh, he a bottle of screen cleaning fluid and a screen cleaning cloth. Well, there you go, he's got his commission on that as well, as a honey. Well, he gave me that. Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> Let me teach you an old comet trick. You sell a telly and you used to get £10 commission for your monster scart lead. They used to sell them at, no, I think it was 90 quid. But uh, what you used to do is knock the 90 quid off the telly, put your scart lead through at the 90 quid, and then you get your £10 commission. That's how you do it. <laughs> so that's probably what he's done. He's taken the difference off your telly and given you a free, a free in inverted commas, uh, screen cleaning kit. And he's got his, well, I don't know, two pound fifty off it. So good, good news. That that's a good way of doing it. That's how we used to do it. Right. What's the plan with this then? I'm putting this under tray on, Gromit. Right. Let's get the under tray on then, because it's tea time. It's gone past tea time. I've been to uh, Lister's Mercedes of Boston today. Bet that was pleasurable. Yep, seeing the chaps in there. Shout out to Some Nigel. Good old motor trade boys in there. Uh, who you used to work with. I did. I've and worked Ryan with as well. Nigel. Because smart car news, they've redone me some number plates for the smart car. They weren't happy with the, the condition that they came out on. So they've done me some new ones. So fair play to the uh, team at Lister's Mercedes in Boston. They've always been a good lead team there. Right, you're going to pass me that then. Yep. And you're going to get under the car. I am, it's turning chilly. I might have it to is. put the old uh, sweating shirt on. Well, we'll be done in a second. You ready? Here he goes. Top bananas. That fits there. That fits there. That fits above there. That fits below there. That looks good, doesn't it? That fits under there. Under tray's back on. It is, yes. You're happy with how that went. Last bit, last but not least, it, is put the wheel back it on. It couldn't have gone any worse, better, could it? It couldn't have gone any better, mate, could it? Well, I have just realised something. So? Well, now you've got all this extra space in the garage, yeah. all this length in the garage, yeah. because we've got rid of all what was down here. Yeah. Long wheel based Rover 75. Uh, no. Yeah. Extra space for doing motorbike repairs. I could get a limo in here. Uh, no, you're not. A hearse! We're going, we're going to have a conversation about some of your clutter in here. Um, I have no clutter in here? What are you talking about? What's that? Oh, MR2 spoilers. Yeah. We'll have to talk about them. Uh, what else have I got in here? Nissan Micro Parcel Shelf with holes in. Legend. Floor mats, yeah, they're yours. Always necessary. <laughs> Floor mats. What, what are they? A pillar trim for micros. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised you haven't pointed out the obvious. What's that? Which is my bike. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, it's a, no, your bike's there. I use your bike. No, that's my push bike. Oh, your moped. Yeah, we're going to clear your shed and send that to your house. Okay. That could be a project for the channel. But refurbish that. To refurbish the moped. You need to start buying some plastic then. <laughs> I think we'll have to get the moped out one day and have a little video on it. What do you reckon? <sighs> Would you like to see my very first 
machine that I owned with an engine, which is my TGB202 Classic moped. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. <laughs> then we'll get the micro out. So that's it, last thing, Keep the wheel going on, and we'll drop it on the deck. Can you remember what the torque is for these beaters? Mm, is it I'm 120? Not, I'm not tightening that up any more than that. 120 newton meters. It was, wasn't it, son? Now come the axle stands. It's looking clean. <laughs> no thanks to you. <laughs> right, let's do some uh, wax oiling. Yeah, you can put plastic bags on them next time. <laughs> Get some shrink wrap. I'm taking a jack for a walk. So you've taken your toolbox out of the way and are replacing that space with jacks. They're safe there, aren't they? Pointless. And you couldn't get past my toolbox. <laughs> well, if I couldn't get through there now, especially after I've lost two and a half stone, then there's yeah. definitely something wrong. Last but not least, wheels are getting torqued back up. Right, MOT time. Taking my Nissan note for an MOT in the morning. Uh, confident? I'm never too sure. You never know. I had a quick look just after lunch. Right, so how do you think that job went? Very straightforward, really, wasn't it? Yeah, thankfully, there's no... There's no drama of any description or even any slight amount of struggling. Which is rare for the Audi TT. It looks to <laughs> me like it's been to bits fairly recently. Well that's it then, new steering rack gator fitted. Still begrudge spending 20 quid on one, but especially when I could have got one for a seven pounds off eBay. But, yeah. Uh, but hey ho, I was, I've paid for the convenience. Do you think though, that the last ones that was fitted was seven pound off eBay? Well, the ones that were seven pound off eBay were also Lemford. <laughs> Anyway, job done now. Thanks for that. That's a pleasure. I enjoyed that. You can go get your tea. I've got to put my tools away and I've got to get my handies clean first. There you have it then. Over 35 minutes on and off working on the car. New steering rack gator fitted with no issues. Actually, Dad made that look relatively easy, didn't it? Fingers crossed, tomorrow when I take the car bright and early for an MOT, the tester will look at it and say, blimey, this is good. And we've got another year's worth of clean, trouble-free motoring with the Audi TT. What will happen long-term to the car? Well, it's gonna stay in the collection for the time being. It might be something that I drive for a few more months and then move on to a new home. If you've enjoyed this video and you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help Dad and I do what we're doing. If you haven't already liked it, please consider doing so. Let me know in the comments below. What did you reckon? Did Dad make that look easy? And what do you reckon to the price? 20 quid for a steering rack gator. Not what I wanted to pay, but it's kept me on the road. Till next time, have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Loads of stuff here on the channel to come and in the back catalogue that if you haven't seen, then maybe you could check out. Have a great day, take care, thanks for watching. Goodbye. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.